Hello and welcome to a brand new tutorial from AZF TV. Today I'm going to show you um, how to learn um, digital graphic design. If you're a beginner, if you are an amateur, wherever you are, you can start with me and learn something about digital design. By the way, the software I'll be using in this program is Adobe Photoshop CS6. That is the preferred software for this program. So today we are going to begin with layers, layers, layers. So we are going to learn how to work around layers and how to understand how Photoshop works and how to do something for your WhatsApp DP just today, something of your own artifacts. Okay, so let's begin. There is the interface of Photoshop, that's CS6, Adobe Photoshop. We have the menu bar over here, um, we have some controls bar over here, we have the toolbar. As a designer, you have to learn how to use every damn tool over here, every tool over here. Okay, so there's your layer panel too. And you can find your character pane tool here. If it's not here, you can go to window and select character for you. you have the navigator the navigator is this skill that's why you use to zoom in and zoom out your projects so quickly let's start with our project for today as our introduction to test layers okay so you click on file you go to new if you want the shortcut to that you can just press ctrl plus m then you are there here you set the dimensions for the work that you want to work on. If you are working on a banner, you need to know the feet. You convert it into what inches. For Photoshop doesn't have what feet in its features, so 12 inches make one feet. So you do the conversion and other things. Um, the HD dimension for every WhatsApp DP with the brightest color, the good color and good resolution is 1024 by 20, 1024. We have a reduced what SD, that's a standard word definition, that one is 640 by 640. But today we are going to do a high definition work for the stats. So I'm going to use 1024 by 1024. Since the numbers are the same, clearly anyone with any lay knowledge in mathematics will get to know that the thing will look like a square because all the sides are what, the same. The resolution, you keep it at 100. 100 is okay. You leave everything as such. Don't touch anything else. So just click OK. So there you go. You have your square shape. Okay. Now let's add a color. You want to do something very colorful. So we add a color to it. You come here, define, add a max. And you see, create new fill or adjustment layer. So we click on it. You go to solid color because you want to add a color to it. Okay. So you see a small circle over here. You can drag it along to get any color that you may want. So I want a blue color, so I can see that in this pane. So I click where the blue is, and make sure that I get the deepest of blue, and I select OK. Now, as a designer, you should know the colors that you have to work with, and you should make sure that you don't use more of hot colors so much. So this color is too hot and too dim, blue, dimish color. So. I want a spotlight or something that will look very attractive and nice, something like that. So you come here, you make sure that the foreground color is set to black as you drag it to uh, the downmost part, that's the top left hand color. Then you make sure that the background color too is set to uh, white. Okay. So you come to that same place that you use to select the solid color. You click on it, and this time around we are going to click on gradients. Okay. Now Photoshop is more of mathematics a little sometimes, so we have linear, and as you can see, it's in a line form. So the 
a coordinate geometry ideology. Radar means it will look like what? A circle, pi, angle, reflected diamond. So I click on radial. But the, the issue is I want the blue to be small, not the, uh, that is the black color. So I'll click reverse. There you go. So when you look at the color behind the blue color, you see some spotty slides over there. The spotty slide. So you click here, this arrow over here. I want the blue to expand a little. So let me keep it at, let's say, 149 or oh, let's say 159 or 150. You can type it there too. So 150, I think it's cool. So you just click OK. You leave everything as such. So click OK. So we've made um, kind of a catchy background with a spotlight, and that spotlight is what we call gradient in what Photoshop or digital design. So you come to the tool panel or the toolbar and look out for the test tool. The icon for it is what a capital T. Just click on it. Now you have your test over here. I'm going to use a test called the Edwardian Script ITC. It's a default font in Photoshop CS6. So I'll select that one. Make sure you select your color. I'm going to use white now. You have to know knowledge of colors too because I can use black and blue to make everything look delicious. So I have to use a bright color, white, yellow, something of that nature. So I'll drag my circular color paint to what? Top right, top left hand box. So I click OK. You click anywhere you want to start typing. So I'll click here. And I'll type Type in number you see uh, a correct sign that I used to be so correct for me that I think that's what the teachers use. So I used to tell you that this you got into correct for don't like the way am I so you click on the character. I'm saying that if you can't find this A here, you can go to window and select it from here, character. Okay, it will appear over here. The font is 122. It seems small to me, so I'll increase it. When I put it here, I'll see some two arrows. When I click or hold um, left click and drag it to the right side, the font will be what? Increasing. As you can see. So you drag it to right and it will be increasing. Click drag to right to increase. It looks a little bit big for me, so I'll reduce it a little. It's okay. Well, oh, that's it. We've done something. So these are what you call layers. Now what you need to know is that since the armor is on top of all these layers, then that means that the armor is going to be more visible to our audience. The moment I put armor beneath what I click on armor and move it beneath the blue color, I'm not going to see armor again. So this is why we call this what layers. The moment I drag it and leave it on top of what the layer panel then it will appear over here okay it's kind of annoying in the middle so in photoshop we are all human beings you can't work with precision so in photoshop you are able to adjust things into the middle so you press ctrl a okay then you select the first two over here we call it the move tool okay select it now on the control panel right here you find align center over here align horizontal center so I'll click on it it's in the middle now then you come here align vertical centers and it position in what the exact what middle or the central part of the project so you see some dash lines around it I want you to move away from it so I hold control D there you go everything is off so this is what we call test layers and you can put this at your whatsapp bp and you will not have to crop it because the dimension that whatsapp bp needs is 1024 by 1024 pixels and that's what we worked around with so 
Let's see how you save this document. After doing everything, you have to learn how to save it. So you come here, file, come to save us. Um, I want to save it on desktop. Find a name for it. Alma test layer. Okay. If you save it in PDS form, that's a Photoshop PDS form, PDD form, that means that you'd want to work on it uh, some, at a later time or something like that. It's an unfinished thing. You want to save it as your own work. But now you want it to come out as a picture. So you search for JPEG, not JPEG 2000, neither is it JPEG Stereo. You look for JPEG JPG. So you click on that. Then click save. Now uh, the reason why I love Photoshop is this part. In Photoshop, you're able to choose the kind of quality you want. If you load the quality, the image look what blurry. When you hide the quality, the image look very clary and um, the size too will increase. So this should tell us that as an image has a very very weak or a very small size, then that means that the quality too will what reduce. So I will hide and select OK. Okay. Let me go and check. So there is it on my desktop. Click on it. Okay. There you go. So once you put this, your WhatsApp DP, everything will be intact. You do not need to crop anything. So this is what we're doing for this week. That's You've seen the interface of Photoshop and how to do something for our WhatsApp DP. That's a test layer. You've gotten to understand how Photoshop works and the nature of it and how you can write on what a workspace and do something, how you can add a, a color and other things. Please remember to subscribe to this channel for more updates. See you next week. Next week we are going to take a new lesson. If you have any comment, please put it beneath what, um, this video and everything will be addressed. If you want the software too, uh, you can contact me on WhatsApp that's plus 233-547-43-7746. Thank you very much.